Now here's the second one. Uh, these areas are not really uh, specific. You can visit different ones and they all go in certain order. But even if you visit different ones, it'll always be a different order. This is one of my favorite uh, parts. All these are basically imitations of the story or the cutscenes. I'm sorry, my DAS system doesn't record very fast, so you'll see sounds being out cutting in with the cutscene. Dog Rufus is very annoying. So what I've been doing this whole time is I was trying to silence him. Because he will cure himself if you leave half health left. Now this is the same team you saw earlier, but I'm going to change that. And I'm gonna use different people. And again, I was gonna use Dampen Magic to see if that will work. Magic. The problem I have with Dog Rufus is that he's a complete hit. Because if he's at half health, as you can see, he can heal himself. Uh, third time is usually a charm, but not always. But if you. If you only have like. If he only has 10% of his health left, then he's going to run away. And he does that, which means that I'm not going to use my mage. And I'm not going to use Death and Magic, because that's going to backfire on me. So I decided to upgrade hit Frey's uh, attack power to pick up the slack. Now this shows that the Reflect Sorcery spell, it would normally work, but if you use, I think, Healing and Support, it won't do, it will cancel that out. Or in, or in some circumstances my mage try to heal somebody, or I want to, my mage to heal somebody, and it reflected off the person I wanted to heal, and healed himself. Personally, it's, I think Reflect Sorcery is pretty useful because you can because you can cancel out at least one chance of getting hit with magic, and it can backfire on the attacker. This time he didn't run away, so that's a good thing. He runs away in the other ones. Looks like he dodged that, but it doesn't didn't, doesn't deny the fact that he's still in the guillotine. So. Now, moving on to the next.